the river Yorkin straddles the border between Costa Rica and Panama. This region spent weeks without getting enough rainfall. But in the past few days, there's been far too much. It's changed a lot. The water level rises very quickly and falls very quickly too. It didn't used to be like that when it rained. The water level was stable, at least for a few days. We also have a huge problem with soil erosion. The indigenous Bribri people live on the river. Pedro Cordero is a conservationist who wants to help them guard against the effects of climate change. Deforestation has led to the soil on the slopes being eroded. The water is often five meters high, and the sediment settles here. That means the soil is very loose, and the river bank is destabilized even more. The journey upstream takes another hour as a downpour sets in. The water level rises once again. It's a nightmare for farmer Marvin Ruiz. His banana plantation is on the Costa Rican side of the main river, the Sixaola, which forms a natural border with Panama. But after every flood, the river takes a different route through his plantation, meaning some of his land moves into Panama. After the last big flood, the river just changed its course. Now, most of my 40 hectares of land is over there. Almost all of it's on the other side. Since then, I've had to work on other banana plantations to make money. My family has lost almost everything it owned. The land loss is controversial. But on this day, the local Costa Rican Environment Ministry is opening a binational reforestation campaign in the village of Paraíso, supported by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Students from Panama and Costa Rica plant trees together. It'll take years before the roots hold back the soil. Until then, cooperation is the word of the day. This is a wonderful example of binational cooperation. The river is partly in Panama, partly in Costa Rica. Both countries have to understand that what one does affects the other. What happens in Panama affects Costa Rica. And what Costa Rica does affects Panama. So we have to plan for the future. Officially, the two countries have been cooperating for 20 years. Rocio Cordoba from the IUCN would like to see that cooperation continue. The difference with the last program is that we're trying to apply it to farmers at a local level and at a national and binational level. This bridge takes people to the other side of the Sixaola and the community directly across from Paraíso. There, in Las Tablas, an environmental organization has set up a committee. Currently, it only works with farmers from Panama. It gives them advice on how to protect their crops against floods. Francisco Gutierrez's land was destroyed by mudslides. With the support of the IUCN, he's now planting various fruit trees instead of single crops or raising livestock. That way, the unpredictable climate can't ruin all of his crops. Los limones, la mandarina, the exchange worked well with other farmers. I've seen how things work with them, and I can get the same positive results on my own land. Up the river Yorkin, Pedro Cordero is with the people of the Bribri tribe. He's been advising the farmers here for the last 18 months. Today, he's meeting with school children, the farmers of tomorrow. The Bribri grow cocoa in the middle of the jungle. 
Following heavy rains, almost 80% of their cocoa pods have been attacked by fungi. Pedro explains to the children how they can protect their plants against fungi. The shoot of a plant with natural defences is grafted onto the old cocoa tree. We're trying to save the Bribri traditions. They live in harmony with nature here. But they have to learn how to use the land more effectively. And we're preparing them to cope with the effects of climate change. They can use the traditional crops from the region, but we have to adapt them so that they can bring in a good income. With climate change getting worse, people here can expect rains and floods to become even more unpredictable. But if they adapt to the changing environment, they won't have to leave their land.